For most people, the scariest of the scary things in math is probably translating word problems. The problem people have with translating word problems is that even if they can add, subtract, multiply, or divide, they just don't know when to do those things because they can't pluck them out of a sentence. So to translate uh, requires that you are able to recognize certain suspect phrases that are in whatever sentence that's presented to you. So let's start with some of those. When you translate word problems, essentially what you'll be doing is translating something grammatical into something symbolic and numerical. The first thing you should immediately look for is the word is. Or if there's a past tense, maybe was. Is or was translates to an equals. Look maybe for the word of. Of, most of the time, is multiplication. Yeah, there's a variety of it, too. If you get something that maybe says out of, uh, frequently that actually implies division instead. The same thing with the word per. Per can imply multiplication or division. Uh, knowing which one really is contingent upon the, the other things that are in the sentence. So that's hard to specify, but uh, if you're talking about miles per hour, say for example, and somebody gives you a certain number of hours, then you're going to do multiplication. These, in my opinion, are probably the least easily recognized, but they're the most important. Now, as an example of where you could apply this, um, I think percent equations is a good type, a good place to get comfortable with it. Percent equations that come in one of three varieties. You will see something called the part, the base, and then actually the percent itself. Really, the variation you will see in each of these is basically the location of the word what. In the case of part, uh, frequently the word what you'll see at the very end, whereas in the case of base, it will be actually right smack in the middle, and percent will be in the beginning. For part equations, you'll see something like this. 50% of 90 is what number? In the case of the base equation, you might see something like this alternatively. 50% of what number is 45? And then for percents, what percent of 90 is 45? And all that has changed, again, is just the location of the question. What? What number? What number for a part equation is at the end, usually? Uh, what number is in the middle of the sentence for a base equation? And what percent is a dead giveaway, because they'll always have to put the percent or write the word percent, is at the beginning of literal percent equations. But the way that you approach them is exactly the same. I mean, you can get away with just basically knowing uh, the equivalent of of and is. Uh, of again is always what? Well, for percent equations, at least they're multiplication. And is is always equals. The same for the base equations. Of is multiplication, is is equals. And for percent equations, of multiplication is equals. The numbers that remain, if they start out as a percent, as they do over here and over here, you really could approach it in one of two ways. You could make this a fraction, which is sometimes more convenient, or the usual quick uh, way is to just convert this to a decimal. Uh, if you could pretend that this was a whole number, 50 for a second, the decimal point would be there to start out with. When you convert from a percent to a decimal, you always move your decimal point twice to the left. So it would be 0.50 instead of 50. 50% is 0.50. 90 remains itself. And at this point, you could actually use your calculator to just do 0.50 times 90. Um, if you go the fraction route, right, 50% per, per, again, is uh, could imply multiplication. 
or it could imply division. When it comes to per cents, it literally means divide by a hundred. Think of this root here, cent. Um, not exactly sure how to say it in Spanish. I think it's cien. It's something similar sounding. In dollar, there are a hundred cents. Um, in Italian, I believe you say a hundred is cento. Um, anyway, it's per 100, or divide by 100. So this would be the equivalent of, okay, 50 division style, like a fraction, over 100. And then if you simplified it, it's 5 over 10, and that simplified is literally half. Okay, what's half of 90 is what the question is. 90 over 1, this becomes 45. The common factor of 2 and 90 is 2. 2 divided by itself is 1. You don't have to bother writing ones, of course. And 90 divided by 2 is 45. So you're left with strictly the top. 1 times 45, and if you like, 1 times 1 the bottom. What is that part of the whole? It's 45. When you start getting into something like uh, base equations and percent equations, the literal percent that you're looking for, it's more algebraic. All right? You really could have, and I always encourage people to do this, where you ever, wherever you see uh, a question of what number or what is something, or is what, you might use a letter. If you're looking for a number, it would reasonably be the letter N. All right? So similarly here and here, 50% right, of what number literally is 45, you could simply say N to just fill that void. And also here. So you have to convert your percent that you are given, in this case, for the base equation, uh, once again to a decimal. So if it's a whole number to start out with, and you're converting from a percent to a decimal, it's always twice that you move your decimal point to the left. The reason, again, because you're dividing literally by 100. Percent means divide by 100. So this is realistically 0 0.50 times n is, is 45, is what they actually give you the number in this case, so you just put 45. And now you see that you have an algebraic equation, because there are numbers and also a letter. One thing to remember from algebra is that uh, they have a tendency not to use the x for the multiplication symbol, probably because a lot of times you'll see the letter x for a variable. Um, a more compact way of writing this portion of it is to simply bunch them together. So you could say 0.5 or 0.50 n equals 45. And at that point, you say, okay, if I'm solving for the letter, and you have to, because that's the base, that means that you have to scoot this 0.5 over to there somewhere, uh, somehow. And that is over in equals, so you do the opposite operation. If this was multiplication, as it was, all right, the opposite of multiplying by 0 0.50 is to divide by 0 0.50. And the second glorious rule of algebra is that whatever you do to one side of an equals, you must do to both sides. So at this point in your calculator, if you have one handy, all right, or you'd rather do long division the old-fashioned way, which is very respectable, then you would simply type 45 first and then 0.5 second. And your answer is 90, which makes perfect sense because I really didn't change the numbers in any of these instances. The base, that is the original thing that you would start with, the whole thing is the base thing. This is really the whole thing. whereas this part is just a portion of the whole, usually.